Hey, it's Brian with the Seat Shop. I'm gonna show you a couple quick tips on installing the center console lid. So recovering the top lid in leather or vinyl and some of the tools you'll need. Cause some of the stuff is not that you'll have every day in your, in your garage with the tools you got. There's a couple special things you may need to have. Um, biggest thing is gonna be a staple gun, but it's not any staple gun. This is an upholstery staple gun where it's got a long nose on the end versus your regular, you know, Griswold staple gun. That's not gonna really gonna work for putting on a console lid you're gonna need some really really shallow staples because the staples are gonna staple into the plastic of the lid on the underneath side of it and you don't want the staples obviously to go through the plastic so when you put your elbow on there you don't want your elbow to you know rest on the staple that's poked through so I run two different sizes of staples the smallest one I run is a, a 530 seconds so it's real small it's real small so that will not go in whenever the materials like you know one thickness thick when you're going down the, the long side rails uh, of, of, a, of the uh, console lid. You can run just the, the small uh, 530 second staple. But when you get to the corners where you're gonna have some of the material folding over itself to make a turn, um, that small of a staple won't go through all the material and actually penetrate into the plastic. So on, the, on corners when I got a couple different thicknesses of material uh, stacked on top of each other that I, need to, that I need to run the staple through, I'll run a quarter inch staple. Yeah, still with the regular pulse sample with that nose. Um, if you, you gotta watch your pressure that, that your, your, your compressor is set to, I usually run about 70 PSI roughly uh, for it to staple all the way through. But if you get it cranked too, way up too high, it's gonna blow right through the material and possibly crack the, the plastic uh, of, your, of your console lid. So play with the pressure, start at kind of 60 and work up a little bit. Um, I would, probably wouldn't go over 80. Uh, but I usually run about 70, typically gets everything I need, enough pressure to get through and hold and doesn't just blow right through the material. Another thing you'll, uh, you could use as well, and sometimes I use both uh, staples and the glue, is gonna be this Landau top and trim uh, made by Weldwood. Um, this is, you can get the five gallon jug, they also come in a, in a one gallon, and I believe you can even get some regular sprayed rattle cans at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, it's in their paint section with some of the spray adhesives and uh, super glue and stuff like that. But a regular a can, they, they've got the Lindau um, uh, Weldwood uh, spray can too. And I think it's like 12 or 13 bucks for a can of that. This stuff's pretty expensive in the gallon jugs, in the in five gallon, but I just use a cheap Harbor Freight $15 you know, spray gun to spray the glue. Because the good thing with the glue is you can spray the glue onto the, uh, the back of the plastic console lid and you can stretch your cover and get it to attach and make sure everything's good and make sure it's all centered, not, not you know, twisted one way or the other. Then when that's, as long as you're happy with how it's all set, you can come back with your staples and run your staples in it. So you'll see your factor ones are typically gonna be held on with, with staples, or some of them are actually heat sealed onto the back to kind of melts it into the plastic and the vinyl into the plastic, but you won't be able to recreate that. So that's a lot of those times if you see it heat sealed in, I'm gonna run glue. Uh, some of them I just run staples. Some of it really helps to have, use both of them. I kind of get it situated with the glue, come back and, and really throw some staples in it to really hold it on tight so that it can't move around. But that's kind of a quick nutshell what you'll need to do an install on a console lid. Um, get an upholstery staple gun with a long nose. So that really helps sometimes on the console lids to be able to get the tip of this down into where you need to run your staple versus this with real flat where you can't get it down into a crevice. So having that long nose it makes a real big, a real big difference is a big deal and having the short staples because you can't get these at like Lowe's or Home Depot, your regular, you know, home improvement store. Easiest thing I do is just hop online, hop on Amazon or look at your local uh, upholstery supply shop. They'll carry these uh, smaller staples of 532nd and quarter inch. That's pretty much all, what all you're gonna need to do your install. If you got any questions, give us a call, 214-710-2565 or check us out on the, the seatshop.com. Also like us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks guys.